The next link we will look at is Email Mandy Davis or Email Instructor. It might simply be called Email. Once you click on it, you see this case it is set to all instructor users and you don't see anything else. In some courses there might be a number of links such as all student users, all group users, select users, select group, all instructor users, all teaching assistant users. If that is the case, if you want to email your instructor, always choose all instructor users. Once you click on that link, you will be taken to a place that allows you to send an email to your instructor. Please make sure that in the subject line you put something pertinent to your message. So if you have a question, say question about assignment 1 and mention your class. In this case, it is an ENC 91, and the section is EOC 1. You want to do this because your instructor most likely is fielding questions from five different courses. This way your instructor immediately knows what course you are in and where the assignment is located that you have a question about. Type your email message in the, in the post provided and please note this little sentence. A copy of this email will be sent to the sender. What that means is that once you hit submit and the email goes to your instructor, you will also receive a copy of this email in your inbox in your KCTCS email. This is for your own protection so you have documentation that you have sent an email and at what time you have sent this. You can also attach a file by simply clicking attach a file, click browse, and again you will get the window where you can maneuver to your document on your computer and then attach it. Once you click submit the email will be sent to your instructor. In some cases instructors use something that is called messages. If on your course menu it says messages click on messages and you will notice that in this particular instance you have an inbox and a sent box. Any message that you send will be sent to the inbox of your instructor in his or her Blackboard course. It does not go to their KCTCS email, nor does a response to your email go to your KCTCS email, but it will come to your inbox within the Blackboard course. Most instructors prefer one or the other. For purposes of instruction, I have both listed here. However, it either will say messages or email. The big difference is email will go to your KCTCS email and the instructor's KCTCS email, whereas messages will create an inbox and a send box right within your Blackboard course. And in order to check those messages, you will have to sign into Blackboard, go into your course, click on messages and then click on inbox or send box. I hope this video was helpful to you to learn how to navigate around in your Blackboard course. If you need further assistance you might want to click the help button here or the help button here. Once you do so you get to the Blackboard Technical Help Desk and the On Demand Learning Center. You can also ask Dr. C, which is Paige Brooks Cheffers, who can give you an answer for any questions you might have talking about Blackboard. You see that there is a tab up here saying Student Support. You can click on this and it will give you basic tutorials on how to use Computer Basics, Email, 
Internet 101, Internet Safety, New to Blackboard, Getting to Know Your Online Course, Watch Video Tutorials on Blackboard Course Tools, and you can take tours. You can also click the Somerset homepage and you will get to distance learning and there you will find orientations for online classes. In addition, you may click on learning comments, on libguides and you will find on the libguide section a libguide for Blackboard. Thank you very much for your time and good luck in your course.